Oh, I'm so zen. Do I have to finish the rest of the interview? Hi, I'm Emma Watson and I'm headed to London. This is what's in my bag. So, here's what's in my backpack. First of all, this is mine and my brother's gin. And, um, you know, you never know when you're gonna need just a quick, straight glass of gin. In this case, I'm ready. Mm. Well, this is one of my favorite things about Prada is that she does this like incredible tiny, tiny, mini, mini, mini bag that you can put inside the bag. And this is what I have with me when I'm at the airport. It's just got my passport in it. I really love the color of my passport case. It's bright blue, so I cannot lose this. I also recently had my friend Taylor put inside the marker, so I really can't lose it. Oh, a bit of a rose mist, you know, just a bit of a refresh at the sweaty airport. I try to be good about wearing sunscreen. Oh, I can't AirPods, why? It's so painful. You can never find the other AirPod. I really just like the old school plug-in ones. My friend introduced me to these recently, Zycam. Um, I travel all the time and I try not to get sick. You literally put this up your nose and it stops you from getting sick. Even if it's a uh, placebo, it's working on me. I've been wearing this for forever, it's disgusting now, but this is from the body shop. It's a lip stain, cheek stain, hand wipes, Altoids, you know, never know. Need to have good breath, makeup bag. Oh, this is so cute. I found this freckle pen recently, which I absolutely love and use in the winter when my freckles kind of go away and I want to bring out ones in my nose. <laughs> was I cam. This is Jane Iredale. I've been using this lip pencil for years and years and years. It's in my favorite color, which is called Spice. This amazing sponge. Isn't that great? The thing I probably really can't live without is these body shop stains. And I think they actually might have stopped doing them. So I had to buy a bunch of them on eBay because I'm so obsessed with them. There's a brand called Luna and Aster and they do this under eye brightness situation. I think probably if I only put these on my face, I can get away with, with very little. I've been wearing tubular mascara for years. I love them because they come off with hot water. So when I shower, I don't have to use a makeup remover or anything like that. And it's kind of more gentle on your eyes. When I go to an airport, Maybe it's the conditioning of being where I might get photographed or there might be paparazzi there, but I do try and put myself a little bit together for the airport. But when I get on the airplane, I'll usually, I'll usually take stuff off and I will try and moisturize and drink water. And... Oh, I love this lip balm. This is amazing. It has SPF 15 in it and tea tree. So I think I tell myself that it's gonna stop me from getting sick as well. Bit of a theme coming on here. Oh, okay. This cannot live without. This is my sleep master mask. This means I can sleep anywhere. You can basically put me on the floor in one of these and I will be able to sleep. I wear them on trains, airplanes, in bed. It's like a hug for your face and it covers your ears and you can't hear quite so much. And all of my family wear them now, all my friends wear them now, it's, it's, a, it's a cult. Oh wait, and then I do this, hang on. So you have the sleep master mask on, here's the trick. Do this and then the noise canceling headphones. Oh yeah. And it's like, I can't, I'm just out of space, out of time. I can't hear anything. I can't see anything. <laughs> so I'm flying back to London for Vogue World, which means it'll be an eight hour flight. And that means really material. I actually like reading physical books the most, but I've relented recently and got myself a Kindle, which I decided to decorate. I really like cats, but I also have physical books because I can't not do that. This is T.S. Eliot. It's the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock, but actually this copy has an inscription in it from Steve Chbosky, who I did the Perks of Being a Wallflower with. And it's so sweet, the note that he wrote, so I have to read it. He gave this to me for my graduation and he said, for Emma on her graduation, these words by T.S. Eliot are forever. So is your passion for learning, for living, for literature. I couldn't be happier for or proud of you for this accomplishment. You inspire me every day. Please enjoy this limited edition for an unlimited life. You are my dear Sam, infinite. Steve Chbosky. I mean, that, he's just the nicest man in the world. Inscriptions in books is my favorite thing. I've really been enjoying this a lot. As you can see, it's a little bit um, battered, but refillable water bottle. I love this one. Um, it was given to me by a friend who I worked on the He For She campaign. Our 10 year anniversary is next year 
this is a special one for me. This makes me look like a crazy person. I'm kind of okay with it. Lots of thoughts, feelings, emotions. It makes me look very emo. I probably am a bit emo. This is my ritual. This is my daily, every single day I write in this. And I write three things from the day before that were fun or joyful. Three things that happened that were kind, either that I did for someone else or they did for me. And then I write three things that I thought I did well from the day before or that I liked about myself. If I had to choose one thing that I went on the plane with, with my passport, it would probably be this because doing this is, has been really important. Other Smithson Diary, this one is actually just for, for genuinely organizing my week and my, my to-do lists. So this week, return home to London. And I have actually a couple of rest days and then Rogue World, which is exciting. Oh, pockets. Let's go and let's, let's see what's in these front pockets. This is, okay. So yeah, when I fly a lot, I try and use these nose sprays. <laughs> this one is made from oregano oil and it's actually really intense. You know, you do it and you're like, whoa. Oh, my tarot cards. This is fun. A friend gifted me a deck. I think it's so much fun. I love the ritual of it. I try and pull one every day when I do my journaling. This is actually the original tarot deck. It's a classic, but I have a few different ones. Should we do it now? Oh, wow, this on camera. I am usually freaked out by how accurate the cards I pull from this deck are. So let's see what I get. I'm giving it a shuffle. Now that's interesting. As I was shuffling, there's one card that's upturned which makes me feel like that's the one I should pick. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I pulled the world card. Well, actually it was chosen for me by the deck. The world represents an ending to a cycle of life, a pause in life before the next big cycle beginning. It is an indicator of a major and inexorable change of tectonic breadth. So it stands for achievement, fulfillment, possibilities, and potentially successful conclusions. I have been sowing a lot of seeds over the last four or five years. You can't always be in the reaping stage or the harvest stage in life. Life has seasons. For me, the card speaks about a kind of ripeness, things coming to fruition. Exciting. Okay, this is my Prada fragrance. I'll often travel with one of these instead of a, a big bottle. And I'll also carry around for when I'm sleeping, I'll bring like lavender or I'll bring different essential oils as well. Deck of cards. Never know when you're gonna get stranded somewhere. Oh, a really crusty hairbrush. These are my things. Okay, gotta head to the airport. Need to somehow fit all of this back inside the bag. Biggest item is definitely gin. Um, so that's gonna go in first. That is all 700 items. I am ready to go to London. Thanks for joining me for what's in my bag. <laughs>